Yo, what is up, everyone? James Carter TV here to recap the 2015 NCAA College Basketball Championship between the Duke Blue Devils and the Wisconsin Badgers. Now, I actually made a game recap a couple days ago in the Final Four of Wisconsin versus Kentucky. And um, Wisconsin fans weren't happy with me, but that's fine. Um, I'll get into more of that later. But for now, let's discuss the game. Now, this was a great national championship game. Two years in a row now, we've had really good championship games. And what was interesting was that in the Wisconsin-Kentucky game, it was Wisconsin that had more heart in that heart plus some, you know, weird calls in there, led them to the victory. But this game, it was the opposite. Duke had the intensity and the heart in the fourth quarter that lasted and reigned supreme. I mean, they wanted to win this game. And specifically, Tyus Jones and uh, Grayson Allen uh, of the Duke uh, Blue Devils really showed up. Uh, Grayson Allen, I mean, this guy is one hell of a kid. Coming off the bench, giving such a spark to the Blue Devils in their time of need when Jaleel Okafor and Justice Winslow were on the bench in the second half and didn't produce much during the game. Julia Okafor, up until about two minutes left, three minutes left in the fourth quarter, had six points and two rebounds. I mean, that's pretty much nothing. Now, he came in the game, last two minutes, got a couple shots. That's nice. That's good. Missed a free throw. He really needs to get better at that before he goes to the NBA, by the way. But it was... Tyus Jones and Grayson Allen that really drove this team. And that is not only a, a testament to them, but a testament to Mike Krzyzewski using these two guys that no one expected to be the difference makers to end up being the difference makers and winning off of their backs instead of the backs of what everyone would have, ex uh, would have expected of Jaleel Okafor's back and Justice Winslow's back. And it's kind of ridiculous. I mean, how did Tyus Jones and Grayson Allen defeat the Wisconsin Badgers. And everyone was lauding Frank Kaminsky's performance. I thought it was okay, but he's passive when it counts the most during this game. In the fourth quarter, he should took, took control, and specifically, you know, with a minute left, he took a big three, and that was nice to see. Um, keep shooting. You make some more big threes. They need you. And in Wisconsin, in their patient approach offensively, and that's fine, but Sometimes you got to be aggressive and go after Julia Okafor down low. He was in foul trouble. Get him out of the game. Uh, but Wisconsin didn't do that. They like passing the ball around and it got him in trouble. And Mike Krzyzewski, congratulations. Another NCAA championship for you. Um, I, I said in my video the other day, I thought he was overrated. I didn't say he was overrated. I just said, I think John Calipari's really good. Um, and Mike Krzyzewski isn't as good as a, doesn't have as good as a Final Four ratio as John Calipari has, but my chef is the best. He's the best. We already know this. Um, unless if you just hate him and you're blind and you're an idiot and that's fine. Uh, and you are allowed to be blind from time to time. But he's the best and he's great. And I think Calipari is number two, but that's just me. Um, and in the comments, some of you said, well, oh, my uh, Calipari only recruits Again, what do you want him to do? Like, like, you want him to say, yeah, I could recruit the best players, but nah. Let me do it the way we're supposed to do it. Let me do it the traditional sense. Why would I want to go to the Final Four every year? Come on, guys. I mean, that's one of the most ridiculous things I've ever heard. Um, Duke. Duke wins the national championship in yeah, Wisconsin. Yeah, good luck. Uh, Frank Kaminsky is going on to the NBA. Um, you can keep recruiting your white players. Now, let me get into that. I said in my Final Four recap that I... I said, maybe I hate Kentucky, uh, Wisconsin because they're white. I said that in a joking manner. But here's the problem I have with Wisconsin. I'm not a racist. I'm not a bigot. If you believe that, fine, go ahead. The problem I have with Wisconsin, I just cannot believe that in 2015, on a college basketball team that you have, on the whole team, three black players. I just can't believe that. And I, I looked this up, you know, to find some sort of articles or evidence as to why this is. 
they claim that there's not that many black people in Wisconsin. That's one of the most ridiculous things I've ever heard. How many Kentuckians are going to Kentucky? How many North Carolinians are going to North Carolina and Duke? Everyone goes out of state. This is nothing new. So go recruit some kids. I just find that to be suspicious. I'm not calling them out. I'm just saying, wait a minute. What is going on here? I, j I just can't believe it. But whatever, okay? That's it. Uh, college basketball is over. March Madness is over. Like I said, I had the Final Four down packed, including Michigan State. Unfortunately, I did not have Wisconsin beating Kentucky. They beat Kentucky good for them, but I hold on to my the courage of my convictions. I believe that if Kentucky would have beaten Wisconsin, they would have beaten Duke especially. I mean, well, especially if Jaleel Okafor would have had the same foul troubles, but theoretically, you can't say that this would have been the same situation. The game would have been completely different. And Wisconsin fans, I will give you this. In the late stages of the game, um, there was an out-of-bounds play that was incorrectly called. And this was a big call. Um, this was a huge call in the game. The ball went off Justin Winslow's fingertips. Refs didn't see it. Refs didn't call it. Shame on them. And again, horrible officiating throughout this game. Officiating is a huge issue in the NCAA. But I'll tell you what you told me. It went both ways, and it doesn't matter. Until next time, James Carter TV, I'm out. Peace.